Sometimes you have to look from within to find the answers you seek, and in Steven's case, that's exactly what he did. By going into Pearl's Jam, that is. In a single pale rose, we finally find out what happened to Pink Diamond. And for all you people out there who think she was actually shattered, <laughs> oh boy, did they ever pull the okie doke on you guys. Akeem here for Channel Frederator, and in today's video, we're breaking down one of the biggest animated murder mysteries to date. Now, there's a lot to unpack and go over here, so let's just jump right into it. Now, the first point I want to address is the biggest and pinkest elephant in the room, and that is Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond. Now, I called it when I said it in numerous videos about Pink Diamond is not shattered. She's alive. In, in, in fact, I actually made a video called Pink Diamond is Still Alive with the question marks and exclamation points because I, I wasn't sure, you know, if she was actually alive. But now we have irrefutable evidence she's technically still alive in Steven. Now that it's been revealed Rose Quartz is in fact Pink Diamond, then who was Rose Quartz? Was there ever an actual Rose Quartz to begin with, or was she simply an alias or alter ego created by Pink Diamond to shirk her responsibilities and allegiance to Homeworld? Well, yes, yes, and yes. Now I believe there was no actual Rose Quartz. You guys may remember the scene from the Your Mother and Mine episode where the off-color gems gave their half-baked thoughts about who Rose Quartz is. Maybe she was a hyper-defective gem that plopped up from the Earth's crust. Maybe she wasn't real. In fact, Fluorite said, Don't be silly. Rose Quartz isn't real. Fluorite was Fluorite! <laughs> Rose Quartz was never real. She was a farce. A red herring created by Pink Diamond to mask the truth of her wanting to shirk her responsibilities to Homeworld. A scapegoat, if you will, for a crime that never was. Now, the question that arises is, if Pink Diamond simply wanted to avoid responsibility for what she was tasked to do on Earth, why go to such great lengths to simply say no to your sisters? The burden now falls upon a boy named Steven, which sucks because, well, he's just a kid and now the fate of the world literally rests upon his shoulders. But back to it, why did Pink Diamond fake her own death? She did it to disrupt the hierarchy and class system set up on Homeworld by the Diamonds. Pink Diamond was an authority, literally. She was part of the Diamond Authority. As such, she was part of the upper echelon of gems. She wanted to disrupt the frame of thinking not only her sisters had, but what her sisters instilled in their subjects. She lowered her class from Diamond to that of a Quartz, a Rose Quartz. Essentially, Pink Diamond as Rose Quartz was an advocate of class war, leading to a society in which all property is publicly owned and each person works and is rewarded according to their abilities and needs. Now, is it just me or, or, or does that sound like the definition of communism? Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you guys right now, the color of pink isn't too far off from the color red. And it's not too hard to imagine a red diamond. It's possible Pink Diamond may have read the Communist Manifesto and got inspired to create a similar society of her own. She could have potentially modeled an entire society built upon what she may have read. Pink Diamond was obviously too fearful to express these beliefs to her sisters, so she needed to create a persona, a symbol to represent her new beliefs. Now everyone needs a symbol. Superman, Batman, Captain America, all symbols standing for similar morales, yet all motivated by different reasons to do what it is that they do. Now that we know Pink Diamond's secret identity, who else knew? Pearl, obviously, but what about Garnet? Was she in on this particular farce? When Steven popped out of Pearl's gem, she and Pearl were the only ones that weren't really surprised by this particular news. Maybe there's something to that. We'll have to wait and see and find out about that one. But another point worth exploring is Pink Diamond's professed interest or love of human beings. Did she really love us? Or were we just little play toys to her? She did create a human zoo where its sole purpose was for her to examine those special few that she considered and deemed unique. If she really believed in free will, the question I think we all have is, did those subjects willingly go to live in said zoo? I mean, we know Rose Quartz was quite fond of humans, especially in the biblical sense, giving birth to diamond-human hybrid Stephen, 
but was Pink Diamond just as fond of humans as well? The answer is yes, yes, what am I saying? Of course, PD is RQ, so what one feels, the other one does as well. This is all true. My final point that I want to tackle in this particular video is the Bubble Rose Quartz we saw in the That Will Be All episode. Many have pointed out that it looks like they're in pink toned bubbles, so who in fact bubbled them? Based upon their color, it must have been Pink Diamond. But why? Well, it's possible that having the other Rose Quartz gems active might have led to Pink Diamond's alter ego in Rose Quartz being outed. Though Pink Diamond's personality is rather unique and she was the creator of the Rose Quartzes, there might have been a potential flaw in her having them roaming around that might have blown her cover. So what does all this mean for our boy named Steven? He's so far removed from Pink Diamond, though while he is in fact Pink Diamond, his memories are so repressed that he might as well be considered another person. I mean, well, he is another person. He's Steven. Pink Diamond has probably done something that, well, no other gem has ever achieved or attempted. And that's basically reincarnation. She's a different person now. By means of Rose Quartz mating with Greg Universe, she became a different person, fully and utterly repressing her memories. So now that we know the truth, are we still expecting Steven to answer for the sins of his mother? And now giving this particular fact, what crime exactly was committed in the eyes of the authority? The Diamond Authority. Causing a rebellion, yes. A rebellion that potentially led to the shattering of hundreds and hundreds of gems, yes. I guess that could be considered a crime. But I mean, that's it. At least their sister is still alive in the stomach of a boy. They just gotta somehow get her out of there. With this truth and story arc coming to a crescendo, what's next? Possibly the White Diamond story arc? Will we ever see White Diamond? Or much like Pink Diamond situation, have we already seen White Diamond in an alter ego, in an alter form? Look, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm putting my money on Pearl being White Diamond right now. Look, I nailed the whole thing with Pink Diamond as if someone from the crew universe was reading my fan fiction, so I'm placing my bets on this one too. If you guys are joining me on this one, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let us know your thoughts on all of this. Again, this was a lot to unpack, so please let us know your thoughts. Like the video if you liked it, and be sure to click that bell icon to join our notification squad. I'm Akeem, this is Channel Frederator reminding you guys to always remember, Frederator loves you.